guys welcome to my channel Scorpio Cat Tarot this reading is going to be for Capricorn for the week of November 9th through the 15th hope you guys are having a great week it's getting a little chillier let's see what we got going on for Capricorns For the week of November 9th to the 15th. And guys, if you like my channel, subscribe, like, comment, let me know, you know, if this resonates with you. Okay, we got the Nages page of uh, swords here. So he is young, inexperienced, wants to take action, but he's not really sure what to do. So you may be thinking about acting on something, but you're not really sure, like, what path to take ten of pentacles this is a happy home it's a man and wife you know money everywhere dogs kids it's a happy happy little scene right there okay but you're struggling with something seven of swords you're struggling having a difficult time with something. Could be a decision, it could be a circumstance, but something is difficult for you right now. That's the Knight of Wands. So, Wands are passion, fire. You're wanting to bring something passionate or somebody's wanting to bring something passionate to you quickly <laughs> because the eight of wands is swift movement. It's coming towards you very soon. That's an emotional offer. That's a, that's the ace of cups. That's the cup is overflowing. Somebody wants to have an emotional connection with you, a relationship. Eight of Cups. Okay, so somebody's walking away from something that wasn't fulfilling them. He's got eight cups there, but they're all empty. They're not doing anything for him. So he's walking away. Queen of Cups. She is loving, caring, nurturing, you know. And the King of Cups. So you guys are a match. I feel like when the King and the, and the Queen of any suit are together in a reading, that's it's meant to be. I feel like you are a pair you know like salt and pepper shakers you just go together okay so hmm okay it's a celebration okay you see wreaths everywhere the horse is dressed up he's dressed up we're celebrating something Emperor. Emperor is wise, knowledgeable. Um, he's like an authority figure. Justice. Hmm. So justice comes when there's a need for fairness. Um, when maybe somebody is acting in a way that is not so ethical. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Ten of Cups. That's ultimate uh, emotional fulfillment there. 
the man and the woman, you know, at their home. There's little kids dancing around. There's, it's just a really great union. King of Pentacles. This just looks like a happy union, but tell me about the Eight of Cups, because that's really the only thing that's not fitting in here, is that Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Jumped. Hmm. The Lovers. Did you, I don't know. The Eight of Cups is like walking away from something. Did you walk away from your soulmate? Why would you do that? Capricorn, put in the comments. <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Let's see if we can get some further understanding. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. So the fool, you see, he's just, he's not, he's doing him. He don't care. You see, he's not a care in the world there. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's a heartbreak. So that's also could be indicative of a third party situation. So it's looking to me like you had this wonderful, beautiful union with your soulmate. I mean, we got the lovers and we got the king and the queen of cups. We got all kinds of wands. I mean, this just looks like it was really blessed, but I feel like you walked away with that eight of cups. And I couldn't understand why you would walk away from it. But if there's a third party involved, that's why. Tell me about the three of swords. Tell me about the three of swords. Yeah, you wanted a new beginning with the, this other person. Tell me about the three of swords. Yeah. You thought that you were going to have this secure, great relationship with somebody else. Clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. So you thought you were going to be fulfilled somewhere else. You thought this other person was going to meet your needs. I don't know. Maybe things got a little boring and fabulous land over here. Um, and you thought, because you were struggling with something. And you thought you wanted to bring the wand to somebody else. Quickly. <laughs> Um, and you gave it, uh, your cup to somebody else and you turned your back on what you had and you caused heartbreak. Because you thought you were going to have this fantastic new beginning with this other person. What's the final message for this reading for Capricorn? the final message for this reading for Capricorn the hanged man now you have a decision to make I think in your reading last week too that there, there was maybe perhaps somebody at your workplace or somebody that you used to um, used to know or somebody from your past that you were thinking about step it out with and I think this reading ties in with that oh Capricorn all right let's pull from the astrological oracle cards this is your card here this is Capricorn there's a glare and I cannot figure out how to make it go away but isn't this gorgeous 
Okay, so you get your sign and then I take a planet card and the combination of the two gives you a specific message. So let's see what your message is for this week. Something to focus on for the week. Kind of the thought of the week. Saturn. Beautiful cards, right? Okay, it comes with a little book because there's so many combinations. There's no way I'll remember all this junk. All right, so Cap Saturn in Capricorn. Slow down. You have plenty of time. So, slow down. You have plenty of time. I think that's, don't make any rash decisions right now. You know, just maybe take a little time to yourself and figure out what you want. And figure out what you want to go after. That's what I'm feeling for you for this week, Capricorn. All right. I hope you have a fantastic week. If this resonated with you, put it in the comments. Let me know. You know, is this going on with you? Let me know. Uh, you can subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram at scorpicat underscore tarot and the cats with a K. All right, Capricorn, have a great week. I'll see you next time.